Okay, so we all can agree that uh, having a better audio can make people listen to your videos better and have a good retention time on your YouTube. Not only on YouTube, if you're someone who is making promo videos, product videos or any video sort of video editing, then introducing a depth in your audio will make that video way better. Like it will improve the video you don't even want to compare the video with the depth in the audio and without the depth now enough of saying that let's get straight to the point and let's talk about some tips and tricks that you can do uh, just to increase your uh, audio crispness or audio loudness and make your video sound better i mean like even if you have like 4k video and a shit audio then what's the point before before getting to the tips there are, this video will be divided into two parts one is for youtube content creators now if you are someone who is getting ready to launch a youtube channel or if you are someone who has already has a youtube channel but don't know how to make your audio better then this video is for you other than that the second part is for the content creators or the creators who do video editing for the promo videos product videos and stuff now two type two parts of the video so let's get started with the first part first part you're new to YouTube channel or you already have a YouTube channel and you want to make your sound better. Now the first tip I'm gonna give is if, if you don't have budget to invest in a mic then I'm sure that you already have a pair of headphones in your home. Um, wired or wired one not the wireless one I mean like if the wired one has a mic then you're all set to go because the mics in these work way better when you're plugged into your phone and there's this app called Dolby Atmos that you can download for free and use for free with all the features in it there is no in-app purchases as well now having that app combined with the mic in the earphones you can improve your audio way better now this is a mic if you somehow plug this mic into the t-shirt nearer to the mouse then you're all set to go like that's all you need plug this into your phone download an app called Dolby Atmos and you're good to go um, yeah that's the tip number one works great if you have an earpods like before iPhone 7 you get the earpods in the box right so if you have that and plugged in into your iPhone now that's gonna improve your audio level like from here to here now that's what I'm saying tip number two now um, you, are, you already have some budget you're thinking about buying a mic uh, which buy mic to buy I am not talking about that in this video but if you're gonna purchase the mic you're gonna be one of two persons one you're gonna use this mic onto the shotgun cam on onto the hot show mount on the camera and talk straight into the camera now that's type number one type number two is a person like me uh, I'm gonna use an extension cable I have your mic right here right now um, Okay, um, talking about the type number two, here is the mic which is nearer to me and here with the stand. Uh, with the extension cable, I have plugged it. So, um, if I talk, straight goes into the camera. Now, this is what I'm talking about. If you're starting YouTube channel, then you're gonna be going to the first type. So, um, when you mount the mic onto the hot shoe mount on the camera, you're gonna keep yourself as close to the camera because the, uh, the mics are in the range of 5,000 rupees only um, only take the sound input when it is nearer especially the shotgun mics they are called super cardiac mics for that reason if you're gonna talk behind the mic then it's not gonna work it's definitely not gonna work now uh, this is not a basic video so here is the tip now if you have this mic plugged onto your camera and uh, you want a greater audio then the recommendation is go on to your settings of the camera audio recording and turn that to manual and increase that to plus one now plus one in the sense like drag the drag the setting all the way to the negative zero like uh, full to the zero and then just bring plus one or plus two that's enough that's the only thing you need to do that's the tip now the reason that i'm telling only plus one or plus two is this mic will record everything that is front of it now if you're talking here and there is a person yelling at the background then the mic will definitely record this if you have the camera set to plus one or plus two then it will record the mic it will neglect the uh, minute sounds that are happening in the background and you can remove the noise efficiently so that's the tip uh, i'm gonna also tell about post work about the audio so stay tuned for that i mean like watch this video till the end so that you can improve your audio now uh, the second type of person extension cable 
if you are at this level you all, almost know everything about the mic but here's another tip uh, you must be at only plus one to do this like plus one is is it's like the sweetest part you're gonna do plus one is the is only thing you need um that's what i said okay so uh extension cable done now let's get to the post uh I, i'm sure that you have followed everything and let's get this audio level to the next level let's get to the post working so in the final cut pro i mean like you can use one of three softwares davinci resolve final cut pro or premiere pro uh, i'm talking about final cut pro as of right now in the final cut pro when you bring the video attached with the audio into the timeline now um into the project so first of all expand the audio you don't need that audio clipped with your video as of right now now i'm telling this after every uh, everything is edited you don't want to expand the audio in the starting because that will create a mess you have to cut the video and audio separately now that's what that's not i don't i want to do so edit the video and then expand the audio now talking about the audio final cut pro, final cut pro already has this amazing thing going on in the top right corner where it will analyze the audio for you and if you click on voice enhance then it will do the work for you now this goes same as for the premier pro as well in the premier pro go to essential sound which will be available in the window setting in uh, in the file bar in the, in the mon um, in the toolbar so in the window go to essential sound click on the audio and click on dialog now in the in the dialog you can you have these multiple presets you can choose one of those which you like so yeah that's a tip for that now i'm going to be telling this amazing tip for you now keep the audio at minus 6 minus 6 decibels sweetest point like the audio will be crisp loud enough for every viewer watching your video on any smartphone tablet or computer minus 6 is the sweetest point so keep it at minus 6 increase the loudness decrease the loudness uh, change the decibel range make sure that the audio is playing in minus 6 now you might be talking at highs and talking at lows at some points of your video so this tip is for you again now uh, if you drag the compressor you have this preset in every software davinci premiere pro and final cut pro if you bring the compressor on to your video i mean on to your audio then it will do the work for you it will balance the audio for you it will bring down the highs that's what it does increase the lows it will make the audio streamline and the viewer who is watching it will listen to the audio in a streamlined manner if you have some someone talking in the background or some noise in the background most of the noobs do that uh, bring a denoise into the audio and like get confused now denoise is not something made up for that you're going to use deesser or dehum dehummer now these are two tools that are great in the da in the davinci you have your fusion if you bring the dehummer onto that or the deesser onto that you can tweak it a little bit tweak it a little bit but in the final final cut pro or the premiere pro just dragging the dehummer onto the audio or the deesser onto the audio will work great i'm ta- i'm telling you again works great now these were some audio tips to make the audio sound way better and crisp Now that you are done with post editing the video for YouTube let's talk about some of the things that might help you to make people or audience watch your uh, video a little bit more with more interest how background music background music is an like efficient way to make the people watch you make the people keep attentive to your video so what kind of background music i don't want to talk about where you can get that background music i'm i'm sure that many of the youtubers out there have already done a video on where to get non copyrighted music so i'm not going to talk about i'm going to talk about which which genre you should opt for now there are three genres 2010 pops or beats or epic things you don't want the vibe to be happy people will not not watch your video if an happy background music is playing in the background talking about the first genre 2010 pops i'm talking about this because this is like lit thing that you can do your do to your video 
maybe it's intro maybe it's outro introduce a 2010 pops song not not like <laughs> justin bieber thing but you can get uh, just just type in 2000 pops you non copyrighted background music in the youtube you will you, you you can get amazing audio for that now that's what i'm talking about all right so the second thing beats beats another lit thing that you can introduce to your youtube video so the third thing is epic thing now epic background music is something you're going to do for your intro or the outro i don't want you to like keep the epic background music running through all over video because that will ruin the vibe just introduce now he has a timeline that i'm going to tell you as an example which will work great intro epic music uh in the background 2010 pops in the start beats in the second part and epic as an outro that will work great so that's for the youtube thing um while exporting just keep it restricted to 48 kilohertz that's enough for the youtube content you, that you're going to create i'm telling you again 48 kilohertz is enough so let's talk about part 2 in the video audio design for for the video editors that you're going to do uh i also have a video coming up on the website that gonna give you jobs as a video editor so stay tuned for that uh i mean like this and that video will help you make money so yeah uh audio design for video editors now if you want to introduce depth in the video then ambient sounds risers downers uh, i'm and and some of the things that make the video realistic are some of the most efficient and most needed things in that video so tip number 1 use risers in the video risers let's play that sound so yeah that's what a riser sounds like it will build up the tension and suddenly at at a point it drops that now this is great for switching the video from a another wipe to a second wipe risers are meant for that now if you are someone who's using risers in a different way please let me know in the comments down below i am ready to know that so those are risers now next comes the ambient sounds if you want to give your video a depth then you have to introduce ambient sounds into your video jungles ambient sounds space ambient sounds or new york city uh, crowd ambient sounds now recently i did a video for for a company called saskin and here is the intro of it i'll just play the 3 or 4 seconds in the starting so that you can get a clear idea okay so uh if you have your earphones plugged in you can hear that uh, there are noises in the background there is a wind going up there is an tension building in the background so these are all the audio effects i introduced in the timeline now i have this video of six layers because video is just the one layer i have introduced space wind wind sounds uh, crowd in the background and also a riser in the background now 4 plus 1 five layers just for 4 second clip that's how you can make it interesting so as an video editor just bring your audio to the next le- le- next level with these tips if you have enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel signing off yeah yeah i know i look good